Now, the former Prime Minister, Tony Blair, has said the Labour Party must take centre ground now that a Tory MP has defected to the party. Well, he told The Independent the party needs to build on the defection of Christian Wakeford and capitalise on it. Keir Starmer is reportedly in talks with other Tory MPs to cross the floor. Well, uh, let's talk to John McTernan, who was Tony Blair's political secretary. Morning to you. I mean, look... Morning. It, no party wins unless it's in the in the centre ground, does it? This seems to be a statement of the obvious in a way. Yeah, look, it is a statement of the obvious, but it's amazing that the Labour Party forgot it for 10 years. You know, that after Gordon Brown got defeated at a general election, the Labour Party decided to go left with Ed Miliband, then left her still with um, uh, Jeremy Corbyn, and then double down on that and go left her still in 2019. And the result is a landslide for the, the Conservative Party. Um, what's amazing is the Tories have decided to abandon the centre ground they were occupying, making it available for Keir Starmer. So this is absolutely the right time to follow Tony's advice and move back uh, and seize the centre ground. But that's the point, I suppose, is it will they be prepared to take advice from Tony Blair? Will Keir Starmer agree? Look, I think everybody talks talks about Tony whenever he speaks. So whether people take advice, you know, whether they say, oh, look, I've listened to him. The thing is, when he speaks, everybody goes, well, that was interesting. That was an observation. His speech on Thursday, which I attended, um, that has caused uh, three days of commentary since then. It's because he is one of the best commentators on British politics, and he's still passionately committed to getting the best for Britain's future which is, you know, not what we think of when we look at the current uh, state of the government, which is looking uh, to get the best for the future of um, the prime minister or the best for the future of the party, but not the best for the future of the country. And that is a space, what's good for the country, a space that you can see Keir Starmer occupying. It, the left hate it. They attack him for using the flag. They attack him for being patriotic. But that's a sign that Labour is moving in the right direction. If you're annoying the Corbynites, you're doing the right thing. It's a bit of a strange situation, though, isn't it? That, I mean, when you look at the Labour Party in general, there is a huge amount of, of dislike of Tony Blair, who was, of course, Labour's most successful mm. leader ever. Well, look, I think successful leaders are polarising. Look at the legacy of Margaret Thatcher in the Tory party, their most successful leader uh, for such a long period, and yet she's still divisive inside the Tory party. And I think well, the thing that Tony always says is... The great thing about the UK is we're a democracy. The Labour Party is a democracy too. People are allowed to have their view of him, their view of him and his legacy, him and his views. And the thing is, uh, whatever you say about him, his legacy is all around us, not least in the peace of Northern Ireland. I mean, if you think of the way that the, that the, the Tory party are still being torn apart by the Northern Ireland Protocol, which is itself the consequence uh, of the uh, of the Belfast Agreement, the uh, the agreement to the peace treaty, uh, the Good Friday Agreement, you see the legacy of, of of Tony Blair getting peace in Northern Ireland is still causing political problems for the uh, for the Tory Party. So you know, great politicians leave a legacy you can see all around you. You get the feeling when Tony Blair does uh, make speeches and opens up about things like this that he's itching to get back in to to be very influential. Do you agree? Um, he always has a chuckle when people ask him that question. Um, I think the truth is everybody who's in the, been in the top office, you know, I worked in number 10, I wasn't an elected politician. You miss it every day. You wouldn't be human if you didn't miss it every day. But equally, time moves on. It's time for an, another generation, just as things change in music, things change in art, things change um, in every area of life. We've got to move on. The point is to be relevant in politics. And I think Tony's relevant in politics, and I hope that I still am today too. Uh, well, look, uh, Keir Starmer is certainly relative in, uh, in politics at the moment, um, and yet he's claiming that there, there could be more defections from the Tory party to the Labour party. I mean, that's just spin, isn't it? Uh, I don't think so. Um, when you get one defection, what you're showing is a deep uncertainty inside a political party. And, you know, when when Labour had people who left uh, over the anti-Semitism, over uh, the, the the leadership, uh, the, the left leadership that they opposed, um, 
there's always more than one person when one person moves because it's such a big and brave thing to do to leave one tribe and join another tribe. You leave the tribe that you've grown up with to join one that doesn't trust you. And then you're in the commons and nobody trusts you, you think, you fear. And so, look, of course, there are people uh, that, 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 that Labour will be talking to. Uh, and one of the great ways uh, that, you, that you cultivate potential defectors is just befriending people, maybe for people from the same region, maybe people who've got shared interests. The all-party parliamentary groups, the select committees, they're all areas where people from different parties work together. That's when you get to know people, then you have a coffee with them, then maybe you have a drink with them, you have dinner with them. There's much more socialising goes on in the House of Commons. It's a far less partisan place than people think it is, because it is a workplace. And then you gradually get to know, well, maybe this person's available, maybe this person's thinking about this. And can you I, gradually, I, you know, I, I would be surprised if Robert Stewart for, for coming to Labour at some point. Forgive me, John, for jumping in, but it, it, you talked about the, you, the, the democracy, the great democracy we live in and the democracy of the Tory party. It's not democratic, is it, for the, for the Labour Party or any party to try and get people to cross the floor? I mean, should, shouldn't there be... A, if someone wants to, to leave their, 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 their elected seat as, a, as being a, a member of a particular party, shouldn't there be a by-election? Oh, look, people say that, um, but we have a system in which people vote for strong governments. We have a first-past-the-post system, and we have an increasingly uh, focused-on-the-leader, uh, presidential-style uh, election system. People vote for a party, a party with a program. They expect that party to implement the program in government. Now, that, 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 that's kind of block. That's what you vote for in a block. What you have to do between elections is you have to hope as a Democrat that there is some way of holding back a party that takes its majority too far, that believes it's above the people, above the voters. And what you're getting with Christian Wakeford's defection is a sign that inside the Tory party, people are actually really worried about Partygate, about the direction of the Tory party. It's a kind of regulator, really, inside the system the people who are in, you know, we, we may, it may be until 2024 before voters get the chance to pass judgment. But you've seen in the by-elections that they've had, in the by-election in Chesham, the by-election in North Somerset, in North Shropshire, that you're getting uh, an expression by the public that this government are going in the wrong direction. The defection is another way of doing that. You've got to have ways of, of chastening, of disciplining, of sending a message. And look, in the end, the voters uh, of, uh, in Bury are going to have the chance to, to say whether or not they want Christian Wakeford to stay on as their MP. Now he's a Labour MP. Um, and that, in a sense, is, will be the ultimate judgment because it, you know, he obviously believes, Keir obviously wants, I obviously want a Bury South to be a Labour seat with Christian Wakeford MP uh, a, and a Labour government elected. And at the moment, that looks on the cards. And just remember, two years ago, just over two years ago, it looked like Labour would be out for another generation. Okay. So it's looking closer. Mm, mm. Fascinating stuff. John McTiernan, political commentator and former uh, political secretary to Tony Blair. Thank you very much indeed.